all right here we go wax tv and we are back again with another video this time we will be doing a 15 card tops project 2020 unboxing super excited to make this video each and every one uh, card in this video is not a purchase uh, not a card that i purchased directly from tops.com all of these i either purchased off of ebay or some uh, Facebook groups that I'm involved in for Tops Project 2020. Didn't pay over retail for one of them. They were all under $20. <laughs> Some of them, you will be surprised how much I paid. So let's uh, let's get into this. Love Tops Project 2020. And all right, this is a pretty cool one. This is a King Saladin Ichiro. Remember, at one point this card was. Uh, getting up there hundred dollar card, but um uh, You know after everybody uh, pretty much got on board a lot of these cards went down significantly I believe I paid about fourteen dollars for this one King Saladin is um oh Man one of the one of my favorite artists in this project A lot of people don't really care for this project um, You know, I personally love it. It's just something to keep us busy during this pandemic during this quarantine something to look forward to every day two new cards coming out every day they're limited and ultimately th i believe this is some a set that we will look back on years later that'll you know not that we want to be reminded of this time but you know we just certainly don't want to forget it because you know what they say about history once you forget it it repeats itself and this is something that um I'm sure you'll all agree we don't ever want to see happen again. And this is my favorite artist in this set. Uh, this is the Ben Baller, Ricky Henderson. Sweet looking card. You got the, I'm not sure what bridge, Golden Gate Bridge. I'm not sure what bridge that is back there, but um, it says the town on it. Uh, Man of Steel, Ben Baller, just killed it on this card. Next up, so, oh, <laughs> now this this is pretty funny. You know, a lot of people will talk about what is, you know, the card that represents Tops Project 2020 uh, the best, and some will say it's the it's the Ermsey Trout. Personally, I say it's this one right here. This the no other card has been talked about, whether it be negative or positive. I mean, any talk is good talk. Um, you think of Project uh, Tops Project 2020, this is the card that you think about. And I, the, the print run was astronomical on this. It was 99,000, it almost hit 100,000. But you know what? Um, personally, I'm, I'm not a fan of Keith Shore's work, but the more and more I get involved in this project, I'm starting to understand him and I'm starting to under uh, I'm starting to appreciate what his work is really about. I actually picked this up on eBay. This is probably the cheapest this card has ever gone for and the cheapest I've ever paid for any project 2020 card. Um I sent an offer of $2 to a seller that was selling them for uh for 4.99. And you know you always wanna you always wanna go low because they'll they'll probably counter with the the price you wanna pay. The seller countered with three dollars. I accepted immediately, and uh, two ninety five shipping. So I, I paid roughly uh, five dollars and ninety five cents for this card. And I, I felt bad for the seller because <laughs> when you looked at um, at their store, it, it's the the listing said that they had one hundred or more of this particular card so they definitely took a hit right there all right let's keep it moving another one another overproduced card this is a, the uh it's videz yeah joshua videz this is the nolan ryan card this one the project i mean the uh, print run was somewhere in the 40 thousands and uh this is one that i yeah it was it was actually paired with the griffey I bought this one on eBay for seven ninety nine shipped, and a lot of people uh, will give 
Joshua Vita has a hard time about his artwork. They say all he does is, is paint the outside border and do a few dots and lines and that's it. But, you know, in order, for me, in order to really appreciate his work, um, you would have to really have one of these in hand. And you can see how his artwork kind of raises off of the card and everything else pops. You know, I, I would say that uh, base uh, sports is not his strong point, but if you check him out on inst on Instagram, he's a very talented artist. Very talented. I love his work. Okay, moving forward. Another one uh, by my favorite artist Ben Baller, representing the LA area, which is where I'm from and reside. This is the Dwight Gooden. He killed it on this card, as he does all of them. It says, A.K.A. Dr. K. Ben Baller did the card. Just the blinged out Mets. Got the chain on him. Man, can't say nothing. Can't say nothing negative about Baller. I'm, I'm actually going for for the the artist set from here out. I picked up uh, I picked up all of them except the probably the his first early ones that are. Uh, just a high dollar card right now. So, but eventually I plan on picking those up. Bob Gibson Ermsey. Again, Ermsey was another artist that I had to really um, do some research on to appreciate him. And he asked me, he killed it on this card. And I just say everything about this just says vintage. It just, I mean, it's classic. You know, it's kind of like a, like a, something straight out of a comic book. Uh, you really have to uh, have these cards in hand to really appreciate them. Yeah, and this is um, Jacob Ro Jacob Rochester. Yeah, Jacob Rochester. Love Jacob Rochester. This is the his uh, version of the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Y I mean, what if you ask me? One of the greatest decades of all time was the 1990s. I spent my teenage years growing up in that year and. It's a lot of fond memories, and everything about Jacob Rochester is just 90s. Like, you see this design, and it, it just screams 90s. It's um, He's a very underrated artist, in my opinion. If you haven't checked out his Ichiro card, man, he killed it on that one. I believe it's still available for probably another uh, two hours or so. Another Jacob Rochester. Uh, this is the Mike Trout. Love this card. I mean... Growing up as a kid, I was uh, a big fan of Sports Illustrated for kids. Uh, you'd always get a sheet of baseball cards in there, sports cards. And this design right here, to me, just screams Sports Illustrated for kids cards. I mean, love his work, man. I love the detail. Just love that he brings that 90s uh, vibe into his artwork. All right, keeping it going. And this is the uh, Matt Taylor, Frank Thomas. You know, again, this is another guy that you really have to have his stuff in hand to appreciate. I uh, love the color schemes that he uses. Uh, just a very, very talented artist. This is another guy who, sports cards probably aren't his strong point, but a lot of these guys, I looked them up on Instagram and started following them. And they're, they're just awesome artists, you know. Tops knew what they were doing when they picked these artists. And they just go grab a... Bunch of nobodies. Okay, moving forward. All right. Andrew Teal, another one of the top artists in the project. This is his version uh, version of the Jeter. Yeah, I just love the way he, he, he did this card. Love the way he sketched it out, the colors. Oh, man. It says, Welcome to the Bronx. The detail. You have uh, some of uh, Derek Jeter's just classic moments at the bottom right there you can see him celebrating probably after winning a world series or a cha or a playoff series sweet looking jeter love that card all right okay mr cartoon jackie robinson it's another another one of the artists that i like in this um project i mean this mr cartoon is one of the few that actually uh, puts art puts the pen to paper actually draws out uh the, the his artwork and does his his best to draw out the card 
Yeah, I love this card right here. Mr. Cartoon, true artist. I mean, if you don't know who Mr. Cartoon is, you're pretty much living living under a rock. Um, I picked this one up in a Facebook group for 15 shipped. Not bad at all. Almost done. We have four cards to go, and um, I'm not too excited, I'm not too <laughs> impressed or excited about this artist. But uh, this artist is called uh, Natural. Uh, I, I like what he does. I like how he keeps the uh, classic card concept. Doesn't change it around too much. But what I can't, um, what I, what I don't like is just the way he writes stuff out. You know, he uses a lot of uh, like a series of triangles and different ways and I kind of see what he's doing you could kind of read um, you know Sandy Koufax picture um, guessing Brooklyn Dodgers but yeah that's the only only knock on him that I don't like but you know this was another overproduced card and I recently picked this one up along with um, I think it was it came out with an old man Allen card of Ted, Will Ted Williams so I picked this one up for nine dollars shipped so it's a, it's a little bit of a hack right there if you're looking to co to collect some of these Topps Project 2020 cards and you don't want to pay the full $20, go on eBay. You will find a lot of them for $10 and under, as well as the Facebook groups. Two of them that I'm in is uh, Topps Project 2020 on Facebook and Topps uh, Project 2020 After Dark. And... Uh, Okay, so yeah, here's the card that came along with it. This is the Old Man Allen, Ted Williams. Old Man Allen is another one that, um, you know, I'm trying to figure him out. I don't know if it's art. I don't know if it's not. It, it, when you look at his stuff, it really looks like he uh, takes a lot of the, 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 the Montgomery project, like the uh, designs that weren't used and kind of goes with those he uses real photos you know doesn't put any artwork on it but clean looking card and this is another one this is one i paid seven dollars shipped for all right winding it down just trying to keep this video under 15 minutes looks like we're on point and uh well blake jameson uh, right next to uh to ben baller blake jameson's the man one of my uh, my second favorite artists in this project look at that just sweet kept the classic uh wooden frame border kind of switched it up a little this card came came out right around fourth of july so I, I understood what he was doing you know try to stay uh <laughs> patriotic uh over that weekend and you know he produced he uh released this card sweet looking card um love the way he mixed in uh, the usa colors and his usa uniform uh, if you don't follow uh jacob i'm sorry jacob <laughs> blake jameson on on youtube or subscribe to him you should probably check him out he does a lot of giveaways he does a lot of live art he has interviewed uh if not everybody everyone just about every artist in this project uh it's just a cool channel he does a lot of uh unboxings a lot of uh, a lot of uh, card breaks it's a cool channel and he killed it on this card and yeah just check it check out the the video that he did on this card he'll explain uh why he made this card and why he used mark mcguire's old number 25 number rather than his usa number all right last card in this unboxing is the ben baller mike trout this is probably my favorite card so far in the entire project just killed it on this card as he always does i uh, got the california chain right there just uh you know, i love the blinged out uh, batting gloves that he threw on him got the wings in the background uh man this to me this right here is just this is just art kept the rookie card logo in there and this was a very clean copy this one it was another one that i um picked up off of ebay i bought this one for 19.95 so this is probably the only one that I paid regular price for, but I bought it at a time where the average sale was still around 40 to $50. At one point, this was a $200 card. 
but uh, they, it dropped significantly, but that's all right because I gave myself a chance to pick it up after passing on it. Well, that's it, guys. That's it for the video. Tops Project 2020. Let me know what you think about the project. If you love it, you hate it. Let me know what you, th what you uh, thought about this video, what you loved, what you hated. Uh, just, um, you know, drop a comment. Interact with me. That's why I'm here. Until next time, this has been Wax TV. See you later.